basically, we are interested in the role of entrepreneurship in the society. There are a number of cha changes taking place in the society which somehow affect, affect entrepreneurship, such as aging society, uh, innovation, labor markets, emerging industries, and, and so forth. And entrepreneurship is called for a potential remedy for these phenomena. Older people starting businesses, and, and particularly um, starting their own firms in their 50s and 60s, is currently seen as a cure for overcoming the problems of both the state, government, who are short of money, there, there is, there, there's, we have an ageing population, who's going to pay for their pensions, and secondly it's seen as a possible way to uh, overcome unemployment. So older people are in, in their 50s and 60, 60s often have the networks, they have the managerial experience, they have cash in the bank, so a priori you have a good rationale for them to be able to start a business. We've collected data from the UK, Finland and Austria to see if this is happening. The reality of the situation, it's not quite that crystal clear. There are certain barriers to people in that age group. We call them third age entrepreneurs. These barriers in, are included, uh, include cultural barriers. For example, the way in which their peers see them as a, starting their business. Their peers are saying to them, why are you starting a business when you, you could put in jeopardy your savings? Um, why not go on a Caribbean cruise, for example, rather than start your own business? Why on earth do you want to do that at this stage in life? Secondly, there are some quite a lot of older people are actually looking after their parents, for example, so there are other new demands made upon them. It's not the, um, the total picture because we, have, we do have quite a, a strong cohort of people in their 50s and 60s who are starting their businesses. These are often smaller um, smaller enterprises. Sometimes they fall out of being a hobby. In other occasions, it's people coming together to start a business, something that they've always wanted to do. So third age entrepreneurship at the moment is under the microscope. We're pulling together material. We're publishing the information and data we've collected. And watch this space because we're continuing to do research on this.